Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I styled my hair to look like this. No, I did not wake up looking like this this morning and show you how I use my tools and my products to create a bit of a volume and messy effect even when my hair is this short. Yes, it can be done and I'm going to show you how. So grab a cuppa, sit down, take five and I hope you enjoy the video. See you in a sec. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought I will show you a step by step of how I do my hair. Now it's a lot shorter as you can see. Um, this morning I've just blow dried it, I blow dry it straight. Um, you know, just pushing the hair forward and combing it forward as I do it. Nothing special. Um, I do use as well these little clips, little crocodile clips, to pin my fringe um, up and off my face whilst I'm doing my makeup, just like this. Um, I once saw Frankie Bridge with her hair pinned like this. Um, obviously having her makeup done and I've done it ever since with these sort of clips. They're brilliant because they don't actually leave kinks in your hair if it is short. Um, so I also would recommend getting a few crocodile clips like this if you are um, a short haired girl just because you can really get to the layers easier and if you're like me and like a very styled look with it when it comes to your hair these are brilliant. Also, can we just take a minute for the nails? Autumn nails. Love them. So yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. Right, so I've got my um, straighteners up to heat. These are just the GHD Pro Stylers. Um, they're nothing fancy. I either use these or Cloud9. They're the two brands I go between. To be honest, I don't really have a preference. I tend to use GHG because they sell them in my salon um, and also on Look Fantastic. Um, if you don't know, I do have a 20% off discount code, which I'll pop in the comment section, well, the description below, because you can actually pick up a lot of the products I use from there. Um, this isn't like an ad, it is just that I do shop on there, you know, I, I do like a lot of their products. So the most important thing really when it comes to styling short hair is using your layers to your advantage. Now, I have quite thin hair, I have a lot of it but it is quite thin, so I always make sure I have my top layer um, clips up out of the way and then I can work on the short layers. So most of the time whatever style my hair is in I kind of use the same technique with the straighteners and that is to lift from the root and curl round. So you can see the difference there already. It's making sure the hair is all going in the same direction and curling the edges round just gives it a really nice finish. It softens the whole look. I think it's quite a lot more flattering as well. So with most of my um, hairstyles, I find that this is the technique that I use when it comes to using the straighteners, is to take out the straightness, if that makes sense. Um, because if you lift from the root as well, it adds that volume that we're trying to create all the time. I just find, especially with my hair, which is naturally fine, the volume is key. So I'm always following the direction of the cut. Also recommend a good fishtail comb um, because you can use either the metal end to separate your layers. You can use your fingers, but some people um, are quite sensitive to the heat. It depends how hot you've got you, you know, your hair tools. And I'm just combing it always in the direction. I'm not touching the hair until it's cooled down because I want it to hold 
the shape that I've created with the straighteners. I'm not going to pull through. I'm not going to change the um, state of the hair until it's cooled down. So anywhere I do see um, like a straight end, so to speak, I'm just going in, lifting from the root, almost round brushing. So almost like you would blow dry, like with the brush that round effect. I'm hopeless with blow drying, so I find this technique the easiest. I'd rather do the work with the tools after than mess around with blow drying my hair because I, I can't do it, guys. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. So obviously there wasn't much point in me separating my hair because I could do that easily with my comb. Um, but now I'm going to go to the crown of my hair where my longest layers are and I'm actually going to clip this section back so as you can see because I want to get to the crown here and I'm pulling it up with my comb and doing the same so just rolling the straighteners forward so my hair is actually like a week post cut <laughs> So it's got a little bit of extra length and I actually do prefer it, I think, this kind of length because I can do this with it. Um, I'm actually just going to hold that section down because I don't want it to be really like puffy on top of my head. And just the same with the back. There we go. Now, this bit's looking a bit sparse here, so I'm just going to pull a bit of hair forward there. Okay. And I can see I've got a bit of a kink forming there. Okay. So, I think I've got all the hair sort of sitting where I want it just I like to just curl the sort of fringe front bit of my hair around as well almost this way creating you know that like I've got a natural wave now yeah I mean, if you were going to like a pin-up do or something, so very, you know, 60s, you could actually like leave it like this. But we want to kind of bring it, bring it into 2021. So for that, um, I'll show you a few products that I use. I switch between them. I forgot to say, actually, when I blow dry my hair at the moment, I'm going to the Bedhead by TG uh, Small Talk. This is a halt product if you have short hair. But I also do use the Living Proof Perfect Hair 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Um, this is also good for strengthening your hair. So if you're blonde or bleach um, your hair on the regular, definitely check Living Proof out. Okay, so on to styling. Now, because it is that little bit shorter, I can use less product, which is great. Um, well, I'm not being I'm not sponsored by Got to Be. I wish I blooming was, but um, no, I'm not. They are just my go to drugstore hair product of choice. Um, so I switch between the Made for Mess uh, texturizing put putty. I love this range, and they got to be glued. This is the spiking wax. Um, so I'm actually going to show you with the spiking wax, sorry I've got an itch, um, just so you can see me use this product now, that is like all the amount you need, just a little blob, about, you know, not even five pence, I've got too much on there, um, so... And I'm just going to warm that in my fingertips because ooh, I don't want it too obvious. So I've got my mirror here, so I'm just going to um, be looking in that. 
and all I'm doing is kind of fluffing my hair up basically messing it up bearing in mind the heat's done its thing it's cooled down um I'm using my fingers as the main tools here, pulling my fringe forward, lifting the back of the hair from the root, you know, really messing it up. How nice is that looking? Anywhere my hair's looking a bit thin, just filling it out, like, literally just being messy with it, guys, just pulling those layers messing it up going this way and that i'm particular about the direction of my fringe but that is the only bit i'm particular about so you could use a if your hair's a little bit longer um than this you could use a volumizing powder just before you add the wax because that will give um, your hair a little bit more hold and volume as well so i'm just gonna use oh swap myself um a baby wipe because i want to make sure there's no product left on my fingers And I'm going to use a texturizing spray. Now I'll show you a few. I like the Charles Worthington one. This is the Salon at Home Volume and Bounce Texturizing Spray. Love this. Also, I like the Andrew Fitzsimmons Texture Volume Spray from Primark. £2.50, can't go wrong. I think this might be discontinued. So if you do have a Primark near you and you're in the UK, Go get it quick before they disappear. I bought by mine. And the L'Oreal Stylista Texturizing Spray. So for this, I use the Andrew Fitzsimmons. I let it do its thing so it's dried slightly. So I don't instantly go in and mess it up because I like it to dry a bit first I always find if I go in and me like mess it up the product's still wet so you get like a bit of a greasy look in your hair you want it to dry a little bit that's just what I find works best so there we are guys um last step is my hairspray I will be right back because I have forgotten to get it if you've been around here a while you'll know the one I mean the silver crayon volume hold number five i don't think it adds much volume don't don't know the claim on that one but it's the best i don't know why just works for my hair love it no stickiness no dryness if you want your hair to not move all day this is your this is your staple So I don't worry about the um, top too much. Just kind of placing my fringe in the right direction. Cool. And that's it, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe video. No hit the subscribe button to never miss a video and if you want to see more drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you want to see i'll be happy to film it for you okay thank you so much guys for joining and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye <laughs>